I was finishing with Yeti Ambo and uh, I actually noticed European license plates. Oh, cool, let's talk to these guys. And he's like, oh yeah, we're traveling the whole world. I'm like, are you kidding? So this is Habi and Ines and let's hear their story. So guys, uh, could you tell how did you end up here in BC and uh, what moved you to start this giant journey through, uh, you almost did half of the world already, and how do you guys uh, sustain yourself, like how, uh, uh, how are you able to continuously do it? That's a long story, but uh, cutting to the chase, uh, basically we started in Spain, we drove really fast uh, through Europe. And we focus uh, around Turkey, Iran, Oman and the Emirates, uh, really nice countries, not what you see on TV, so really go there and enjoy, it's really nice. Then we continue through the north, uh, around Central Asia, all the stands, uh, many countries, really nice, not the most visited ones on the, in the world, but really nice ones. And then we continue through the south of China, all the way through Tibet, and then Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, way south to Malaysia. And from Malaysia, we were doing island hopping uh, through Indonesia. From there, we shipped to the States, and you know, after six months around the States, here we are, enjoying BC. Nice. And you guys stuck mainly to the main roads, right? You, you didn't do a whole lot of dirt road. And or did you? Well, actually, if you want to do such a trip, you have to because uh, many, many sites uh, don't have these nice roads right. to get to. So you probably look at GPS, it tells you, oh, it's a road, and you arrive there, and it's yeah. like, uh, okay, yeah, like. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No GPS, yeah. no coverage. So we mainly uh, try to follow like advice from other travelers. And that's why we also choose uh, a four-wheel drive van, actually, because by this we feel that we can have the comfort of a van and the capabilities almost of a four-wheel drive car. So guys, what type of van is this? Well, this is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 4x4. It has 130 horsepower and a 2.2 liter diesel engine really cool economy and really nice uh, four-wheel drive and low low gear so what kind of modifications have you done to this vehicle well we we bought it it was a delivery van so it was completely empty and we installed it is we first isolated it then uh, we built all the electric connections and the water pipes the, roof, the windows yeah the roof windows. windows and then last thing the cabinets so we tried to to adapt it to you know like a house we tried to make out of this a house for a long mm. trip of course and how long you been on the road so far so two years and a half we've been oh wow and uh just generally seeing yourself in the future how long do you think there's still more to be on the road well we are actually in our end of the tr uh, the road the trip uh, it's the last stage we are thinking to ship back to spain at the end of september mm -hmm. but yeah. we would love to to continue <laughs> like doing new new trips new projects uh, that's what we are working on now and once you're back in spain like what's your uh, what's your plan like why go back well, we were teachers before uh, leaving Spain. I was teaching in jail, young, young people. And, and I am teacher for preschool. So, so that's the big question <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, I, I guess money, right? Eventually, <laughs> they run out. You kind of need to go back to work, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Till next now adventure. Now it's that, that point. Yeah. But exactly. yeah. as he said, we are with many projects on mind, trying to do something with trips travels yeah. and overlanding <laughs> yeah you, so basically yeah you just need to earn a little bit but you still want to continue again a few years later on another adventure somewhere of course yeah. exactly. <laughs> we learn so many things by traveling around the world so we really need to do something out of this you know out of this knowledge yeah you know? 
And uh, would you plan to keep this vehicle for your next adventure, or you now with everything learned, you probably gonna set on something else? That's a good question too. Um, I think that uh, it would be nice to to have something bigger. We are um, like thinking, a Unimog. Um, not that big. Actually, we were thinking about a Mercedes also. It's called Barrio, mm. widely available in in Europe. I don't know in the state. And you know, we are thinking of having a family, kids. So and we need stuff. something a bit bigger. Oh, bigger. actually, travel with kids, like yeah. small ones, just get them. Exactly. Idea. Like a family trip or something. You're, uh, you're at least till they grow up, uh, because then they kind of need to go to school, right? Um, or you you well, planning to homeschool them basically? Yeah, right. basically we are, we are thinking about homeschooling. Yeah. Right, because you're you've been teachers teaching you you could yeah. actually do that, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why. Well, to a degree, right? Until they're teenagers, then they kind of need higher, I guess, a little yeah. bit higher education. Well, then they can, you know, sustain by themselves and yeah. just go wherever you you can go to do whatever you go. Well, let's check out inside of your rig. Of course. Uh, as you can see here is the place where we. Uh, pass m more most of the time. Um, here you have the seat. You can uh, slide this table to make it a bit bigger. If we have some pe extra people coming, you can actually um, turn our turn the seats. This one, also this one. And uh, this is the part of the kitchen. We have here um, space for sink, uh, stove. You know, draws all has to be really, really well organized for everything, cooking stuff. You know, fridge, Coca Cola. You know, fridge. how many quart fridge is that? That looks like 28 ish. Yeah, this is um, in liters. It's 50 liter, and in measures, I think it's 20, 20, 22 inches. Mm. And you got dual battery set up? Uh, yes right under the passenger seat uh -huh. there is a 150 ampere per hour nice. battery so, so that gives you about 75 amp hour and you have any solar to power yes 170 solar power um, okay. solar panel sorry and here as you can see you have the the controls so you can you can check the water levels the battery levels and the main battery levels too and you can cut the power of the water pump the whole system and this is uh, a Webasso controller for the water heater and the air heater. Well, you can see here the bed. We decided to mount also uh, some roof window for the ventilation and this is our nice cozy bathroom. Um, also, that uh, is very cozy yeah. and nice. Yeah, it's cool. It's nice to have an, in, an interior shower. What um, kind of toilet is that? Is it uh, compostable? No, or? this is actually a marine toilet. So, so you have a black tank and is it a cassette that you take out? No, or? it's a black tank. So you it goes directly to the black water tank uh -huh. and you empty the black water tank. You don't need to deal with cassettes and nothing okay. like that. Yeah. Oh, some people prefer cassettes because it's easy to take out anywhere to dispose. Yeah, honestly, uh, that was not really an issue around the world. I will say that mainly in Europe and North America, it is important, you know, to find uh, exactly a place to empty. Yeah. But when you are, I don't know, in Asia, well, <laughs> you just find like a regular place for dumping because it's really hard to find a specific place for that yeah. purpose. So guys, how can we actually follow your uh, cool adventure or rather have a report on what you've done and continue following you in a couple of years? Yeah, well, we are quite uh, lazy for writing, so just follow us on Instagram, uh, Mundo en Furgo, M-U-N-D-O-F, uh, sorry, E-N-F-U-R-G-O. Well, it's been nice meeting you guys. Yeah, Very nice. me too. Thank have you so much. Have some fun adventures in the future. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. You too. <laughs> Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it so you can actually get my video updates both in notification and your video feed and as well you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.